We've got your first look at the new floats that are going to be in this year's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And News 4's Gus Rosendale is in Munaki, New Jersey. Uh, Gus, you've also got some other news about the start of the parade as you get down and dance up there. Looking good, Gus. That's right, Adam. Checking out the dance floor here. You have one of these at your place, don't you? This is pretty cool. Yeah, we're checking out the new floats. And just got word about the new start time for the parade this year. It's going to be at 845. That's because the parade's gotten a little bit bigger over the years. They want to make sure Santa gets to Herald Square on time. It's not going to change the start time for the broadcast on NBC. But if you're along the route, yeah, you'll see the parade start a little bit earlier at 845. I want to show you more of what we're seeing here at the Macy Studio in northern New Jersey. The exact location, by the way, kept kind of a secret. That kind of adds to the magic of the whole thing. But we are seeing some new floats, some of the balloon designs here. Of course, this is a year-round effort. The work here starts pretty much the, almost the day after Thanksgiving every year. Among the new additions, Baby Shark and Family. You know the song. I won't sing it. Uh, also, some other new runs, including a Winter Dragon, which is kind of pedal-powered. Really cool to see. A total of six new floats. And really what you're seeing is a combination of art, uh, also architecture, and then that mechanical know-how. These floats are something else. We are, of course, getting ready for the 96th annual Macy Thanksgiving Day Parade. That's next Thursday. Heads down the Upper West Side, down to Herald Square. Of course, it's really nice to see that last year's COVID protocols and precautions, all a thing of the past at this point. Organizers say this year, get ready for bigger and better. The Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is a New York staple. It is something that we look forward to every year. It's our moment to celebrate shoulder to shoulder with our fellow New Yorkers and others who've come in from, from elsewhere to celebrate with us. It's an exciting time for us. We're really looking forward to putting on a fantastic show, one of the biggest shows we've had in a long time. Adam, sources tell me you're a pretty good dancer, but I think Jeffrey's got you beat with the moves that we're seeing here as he gives us a big hello as well. Again, the parade, if you're along the route, starting a little bit earlier at 845, but the broadcast remains the same as that first hour, of course, shows the best of Broadway, and we are assured with this slight change that Santo will arrive on time at Herald Square, and of course, that's what everybody wants. We're okay. live in northern New Jersey at an undisclosed magical location. I'm Gus Rosendale, and we'll send it back to you in the studio, Adam. Your secret is safe with us. Nice moves from Jeffrey. It's hard to be that limber when you're that tall, so I can respect that. Trust me. Gus, thank you.